Will this be the year that Kentucky lawmakers allow sports fans to wager on games? The new sports betting bill has many asking that question. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff takes a look at the odds. What makes this year different from any other year that they've introduced sports betting? Well, proponents hope that last fall's elections will have given them the votes they need to get across the finish line, and they've left out fantasy sports and online poker to make the bill more palatable. We have the votes. It's very tight. Louisville Democrat Al Gentry is among 12 co-sponsors of House Bill 551, which legalizes sports betting in Kentucky. As with last year's bill, Horse racing tracks would control both brick and mortar sports books, as well as websites and apps, similar to their role with historical horse racing machines. The reason that happens is um, horse racing in the equine industry is so vital to the state of Kentucky, and that industry has been declining. Many gambling opponents remain unswayed. I doubt if I'm going to change my vote from previous sessions. Uh, I made a commitment that I would not support any expansion of gambling. The same here. When I ran for the first time in 2012, I uh, ran on no expanded gaming, and I haven't changed my position. This is going my 11th session now, and, and I've been consistent uh, with that vote. Opponents worry about gambling addiction and the ensuing problems that arise from that. Among their ranks is Senate President Robert Stivers, who many have blamed for blocking a vote in the Senate last year after passage in the House. I think the bottom line is the people want this bill, and we have to give the people what they want. And I think maybe we have a better chance this year because maybe they don't want our governor running on this issue. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.